the front of the machine here now. First thing that happens is right here. This is where the soybeans get cut off. Then the conveyors operate toward the center here. They bring all the beans, all the plants and all, into the header. And that auger and those fingers rotate like that and pull it right up the feeder house. You can see a feeder chain back there. That feeder chain then rotates, takes all the material into the combine. Now this is a side view into that feeder house where that chain is that I was talking about. That chain rotates right there. And it pulls all the crop material right up in here and shoves it right on up into the front of the rotor. Take that rubber shield down. Now we can see the concaves. In between the round bars, you'll see uh, the rasps of the rotor. You can see another one down there. This is where the primary threshing takes place. The rotor rotates at a, an adjustable speed, and the speed of that rotor determines just how hard the crop is threshed as it's all shoved through there. The other aspect of the adjustment is the concaves, uh, which are these metal bars that you're seeing on the outside, they can be adjusted closer and further away from the rotor. So for corn, you adjust them further away than you do for soybeans. For corn, you want them at least the width of the cob, okay, the diameter of a corn cob away because you don't want the rotor to break the corn cobs. You want them to shell all the corn off the cob, but you don't want them to break it. For soybeans, you run the concaves a lot closer to the cylinder. The rotor rotates and shoves uh, what it can down through these, through the concaves. These augers down here auger that, that material up and drop it on the sieves. I think we can look in from the back and see those. So they even have lights here on the outside. They can turn on a light inside and we can actually see inside. So these are the sieves. So you can see right up there, if you see the daylight up there, that's where we were looking in from the other direction. Now these sieves shake forward and backwards, and they're adjustable. You open them more for a larger crop, you close them for a smaller crop. So there's two layers of sieves here, and the this one is kind of the, the gross layer, right? So you can tell that these are, are, are pretty open. It's going to let a lot of material through this one. And then the next layer of sieves down, um, which I don't know if I can show you, but the next layer of sieves down will be closed a lot more to get just the crop material that that you need to uh, see. So basically all the seeds, seeds and, and pods and other things will fall through this, and the big trash will be got off of it, and then you can do a finer level of separation in the sieve that's below this. So turning the camera around the other way, the trash that we don't want is then sent through this big chopper on the back. You can see those big knives on that chopper, and that chops up all the, the chaff, and then it throws it out there probably 25, 30 feet to scatter it out on the ground. That distribution will allow it to keep from having wet spots and just being difficult to work with next spring. They're actually lowering the chopper out of the way here so that we can see it. And you can tell that's done motorized now. When I was a kid, it was a major deal to take that chopper down like that. So now that we have that, we'll be able to go around the back side and look in. Okay, so we have a really good view back in here. So this top level up here is behind the rotor. And so that's used, uh, it, it, it's used to, to get all the, you know, the big material out from behind the rotor so it doesn't plug up in there. Anything that comes out of there is immediately assumed to be trash. Okay. And then here's a, a view of our sieves. And you can see all the way up through the combine there where those augers are. Now we're under the rotor here. And here's the fan. That fan. Is, is rotating like this and it's blowing a very large stream of air all the way up through those sieves. So that's how you get the dust and the, the fines out of the crop. You can see the sensor on there which senses the fan speed and it's all adjustable. All from the cab, just like the rotor speed. Even the concaves, the distance from the concaves from the rotor is adjustable. That's adjustable from the cab too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that gives us an overview. You see it's the crop is first gathered in, it's brought up through the rotor, that's where the threshing takes place. Any small stuff drops out of the bottom of the rotor through the concaves onto the sieves. The fan blows up through it, okay? And I think we should be able to see where the clean grain is. That's probably on the other side. But anyway, then the trash goes on through and is spit out the back through this chopper. And this right down here is an auger across the bottom of the machine. And that's where the clean grain is collected. That clean grain in is taken through a, an elevator it's, got, it's, a, it's basically a belt with buckets on it. Takes it all the way to the top of the machine and then it's uh, deposited in the 
grain storage tank right up there. So we'll go up there and take a look at that. Now I've pulled this back door open and we'll get up in the back side and see the engine compartment. Pull the ladder out. So here's the ladder. No uh, short feet, is it? So we'll climb up here and take a look. You can see the engine, at least part of it from here. A lot of it's still covered over. There's the exhaust. Lots of air filtering on these units because the dust is just awful. Now we can get up and see a different view of the grain tank. Here we are. Much better view of the grain tank. All of this top, the part that's out on the side here, or over here on the front, that all fold, folds in. Okay, it all folds in. That, that gets you a lower height for storage. And so part of the trick here to storing so much grain in here is that that is so wide, I don't know, probably 10 feet wide maybe, that you can hump the grain, heap the grain way up over the middle. It comes up this auger. You know, we talked about the auger on the uh, bottom side that brought the clean grain in. The clean grain comes up and is pushed right out here. And it will, it will heap that up two or three feet. From here you can see both of the unloading augers. They've got shields over the top of them, but you can see the augers under there. When you start to unload, that takes that grain and runs it out the big unloading auger, which would be turned out that way. Now over there is the tractor and grain cart, and that's what we collect the grain in from the combine. Rather than having the combine stop and dump on the truck, we can drive the tractor and grain cart alongside it. That brings a lot of efficiency. From a cost standpoint, the combine is the most expensive item on the farm. So during harvest season, you want to do your best to keep it running. You do not want to stop combine to unload. It's worth it to buy the extra grain cart and have the extra tractor driver. It's still much cheaper than another combine.